In this video, I'm going to show you running Ubuntu from the USB drive with persistent storage. Now, this method allows you to run Ubuntu from the USB drive or the external drive without the need of installing on your computer. If you are new to Linux and wanted to try Ubuntu before installing it on the main drive, this is the video you need. Now generally, when you create an Ubuntu bootable USB using an ISO image, it creates a read-only file system. By using the persistence feature of Rufus, we can create a Casper container, which is an overlay of the read-only Ubuntu file system. Now this is where new persistent programs and data are stored. Now in short, the bootable USB that we are going to create with Ubuntu works like an installer and with the help of persistence, we can use Ubuntu just like the way we do with a normal installation. It's like plug and play with Ubuntu from the USB drive without the need of installing on your computer. And that being said, for this project, you need a computer running the Windows operating system you also need a 64 GB or higher pen drive or any external drive. Now, in my case, I will be using a 120 GB external SSD for faster I/O speeds. Now, as per my testing, you can use Ubuntu 20.04, Ubuntu 22.04, and the latest version of Ubuntu. Now head over to the web browser and go to the official website of Ubuntu and download the ISO. Then head over to the second link and download the latest version of Rufus. Now once it's done, place them on your desktop for easier navigation. Then go ahead and connect the USB drive or external drive to the USB 3 port. Now keep in mind, this process will erase all the data on your USB drive. If you have any important files, please make a backup. Then right click on Rufus and open with admin privileges. Now select your drive from here. Make sure the boot selection is set as disk or ISO image. Then choose select and import the Ubuntu ISO. For the partition scheme, I'm going to choose GPT and the target system is UEFI. Now, if in case your system BIOS mode is legacy, use the MBR partition scheme. To know which BIOS mode your computer uses, open the command prompt and type this command. Look for BIOS mode here. As you can see, my computer is running in UEFI mode. If you click on start, it will create an Ubuntu bootable installer. And that's not a thing we need. So go ahead using this slider and allocate the space for the persistent storage. You can use 80% of the drive capacity for persistent storage and the rest of the space is needed for the installer. Once it's done, under the format options, you can leave everything as default and click on start. Now this will take a lot of time, so please be patient. Do not remove the USB drive while the program is running. Now if in case Rufus fails to create the installer, you can restart the PC and repeat the process. Alright, as you can see, Rufus has done creating an Ubuntu installer with persistent storage. Now go ahead and restart your PC. Now using the boot menu, you can select your USB drive and choose to boot Ubuntu.
Now, as you can see, we are running the Ubuntu live from the USB. On the desktop, you will see an installer application. Using this, you can install anytime Ubuntu on your computer. Now, let's start using Ubuntu. First of all, go ahead, open the terminal, and run this command to update the package list. Then add these two repositories to install the packages using apt. Then again, run the update command. Now, if you try to install any package using apt, it should work just like the normal way. I'm going to make some changes to the user interface. For example, I'm going to disable the panel mode. and turn on the dark theme. Also, I'm creating a few files and folders inside a document directory. I'm doing this just because to prove you guys after restarting, all these things will stay persistent. Now I'm going to reboot the PC. After rebooting, as you can see, all the UI changes are persistent and the files and folders are still here. How cool was that? We are running Ubuntu from the USB drive with persistent storage. This is kind of like a portable Ubuntu USB drive. It will be very useful to test the Linux before installing it on the main drive. And that's pretty much it. This is how you run Ubuntu from the USB drive with persistent storage without the need of installing on your computer. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Rao. I will see you at the next one.